you know, leadership currently in today's business place and on the playing field is probably the most sought after trait. However, you can get 15 people in a room. We can go around the room today and talk, uh, talk to people about what do you think leadership is, what do you think leadership is, and I'm sure we're going to get little different answers. Um, leadership is really a combination of many things. I, I, again, in sport, I look at it uh, like the manifestation of all the fundamental work and all the skill training that we do when you blend all those things together in a dynamic sport and any sport, uh, just as uh, upper end business is very fast paced and very dynamic. It's not just a, a very uh, set skill package. You have to be able to marry in you know, your people skills, your uh, analytical skills, your accounting skills, all those things, just as a skier going 80 miles an hour, he's got to put a lot together. Um, a basketball player, you know, driving into the paint has to put a lot together. Uh, so this complexity is like leadership. <clears throat> However, the key is fundamentals. Just as I coach uh, sport, uh, leadership is about fundamentals. And there's, there's four fundamental uh, components of leadership. And those are, uh, you have to set clear goals. Clear goals must be established. Uh, trust. You have to develop trust and a connection with your people. You have to know them. You have to develop uh, a very intimate, uh, trusting relationship. And uh, effective communication. Uh, you have to be able to communicate uh, very effectively uh, with everybody that you're working on um, so that, uh, and working with so that you can, uh, they understand what you're about. There's transparency. There's honesty in, in communication. These are the simple fundamentals that you must uh, execute and you have to hold people accountable. People want to be held accountable, especially performers. You know, top performers, they want to be held accountable, but it has to be consistent and it has to be fair. Okay, so that's the basics and, and you've probably read, I could pull up, you know, a hundred books on leadership and you've probably been educating yourselves and going to presentations like this and this isn't new, it's not magic. It's not like when I go onto the slopes and uh, I'm with a new athlete, <clears throat> and he goes, <clears throat> wow, you're the head coach of the U.S. ski team. You're going to tell me something new. It's like, no, I'm going to tell you what you've been hearing for the last 20 years in your career, but now I'm going to ask you to do it right. And uh, when it comes to leadership fundamentals, you have to learn these, and you have to execute them. You have to practice them daily. And then the next part of truly going to peak performance is, is taking it to the elite level. It's, again, I'll draw it back to my, my past. Uh, in skiing, I could teach, and I would teach fundamentals even to the best kid uh, in the world. And at the time, at some point, I'm, I have to prepare this individual to go to the World Championships, to the Olympics, to the show, to the big deal. And you need to think about your life in business, uh, or anything you do at home, the same way. You have to practice the fundamentals, and then you got to bring it to the show. You got to take it to the next level. And in, <clears throat> in this phase is where you add uh, recognition to the people you work with. All right, this is the food that uh, you know performers uh, operate on. I mean, it is uh, the lifeblood uh, for reaching peak performance. It's the jet fuel, so to speak. So uh, just as in, in skills, as we're starting to uh, bring these things together uh, at a high level and starting to blend skills. Uh, as we take our top uh, leadership school uh, skills, we have to add recognition. You need to have recognition. It needs to be the right recognition. It needs to be the right food, okay? So it has to be specific, it has to be individualized, and it has to be well-timed, okay? I mean, how many people have worked for a company and you've seen somebody that you've worked with, someone that you've cared about, someone that you, that you uh, have been inspired by, and then they leave the company and they get all these awards and accolations when they leave. And uh, when they were there, when they actually did great things, when they hit some tremendous marks, were they truly recognized? Uh, and I would say if they were, they probably wouldn't have left unless you know, it's truly their time to retire. And these are the things you need to look at um, to really push uh, leadership to the next level. I mean, uh, recognition is key.